Hello everyone, this is the Not So Sad Panda here saying hello. So first things first, we're going to continue our railcraft. Uh, we're going to do MSFU stuff. Uh, energy conversion uh, is kind of what we're going to be doing today. So first off, we need an MFSU cart. So we need a minecart and an MSFU. Pretty simple, just take it. Also, um, we only need an energy detector. We'll need pressure plates. Why that wasn't already done is beyond me. But, uh, yeah. And then we just follow it around with 10. And we get detector energy. Now, these are very much like our item detectors and our liquid detectors um, that we've had to use before. And the energy loader and the unloader also works very much in the same way that our energy loader and our ener um, unloader and item and all that worked as well. So, we have the energy loader, the energy unloader. Once again, it's the same thing. These two are just going to be flip-flopped. Um, so you need read batteries, dispenser, and a um, machine block. Pretty damn simple, if you say so myself. Now we have energy unloader. So, that's all we're going to need. Um, today is pretty simple. Uh, Alright, over here is our... Oh, I still have tracks down. Oh, those are actually the trucks I want to use. Huh. Funny. Okay, so let's put this down. Let's put that down. Let's put start. Don't need those. Let's make sure. That. I get these right the first time around. Uh, yeah, this one needs to go first. This is our energy. I just put down energy loader goes first, energy unloader goes second. Okay, so make sure uh, for the energy loader that the plug-in goes here. So this means that whatever's, look at the picture, whatever's being plugged in is taking power from what's here. Uh, if we right-click on it, you can see that it holds 10,000 or 100,000, which um, isn't as much as an MSFU holds. So uh, um, that's a problem. It's going to be... It's going to just act kind of like a wire once we put stuff back down. Uh, you can wait if empty, which means that it only carry 10,000. Um, and you have these here, so you put wait if empty. So it'll only put 10,000 then and it'll launch. Uh, or you can do, you know, wait till full. Why don't you wait if empty, wait if full. So I think it'll only have 100,000. Said 10,000 earlier, meant 100,000. Um, also here, same thing. Uh, energy loader, energy unloader. We're going to do wait till empty, so the cart will be empty once it leaves. Um, we just do on, uh, need some cables for power. Yep, I have glass cut fiber cables on me, so that's good. So, we're just going to extend this slightly. You'll also notice that these have um, the energy plug-in marks all around it which um, this is actually works like a high voltage um, transformer so yes same thing here has just like a transformer has energy volts on it as well but uh, that means you can plug it it'll um, plug in power from anywhere that's what that does I don't need that just yet but let's put it back out there Okay, that's plugged in, that's plugged in. Okay, so now you'll see that these are plugged in, they're not receiving any power, so we are actually going to have to get power to them somehow via the wireless or anything. Uh, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take my high voltage solar arrays right off the roof. Uh, one more. Oh, well, I'm not going to need six. I was thinking that uh, they would both need a NARF. There we go. So this will start receiving power right away. And I'll start putting power into our energy loader right away. And then I'll start gathering power in our MSFU. So as you see here, it's gathering power. This should already be full. Yep. So, uh, Actually, I don't even think we need these here. I think that once it's full, it sends a redstone signal. 
Uh, so we'll find out. Hmm. Yeah, it's not. It's going to go off the cart. Alright, so we're just going to... Uh, I think we could trick this into actually going. So, let's find out. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh, I just got in the way. But, uh, yeah, now it's going to bounce. But as you did see, it did stop and unload energy uh, into here. But, uh, now it's back and back, bouncing back and forth because it doesn't know where it's supposed to stop. There, now it'll stop there. Um, but yeah, that's that's it for this. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, I don't actually need those. But yeah, uh, that's it, guys. This is the MSFU um, cart energy thing going on. I'm not really sure what to call it. Um, but yeah, um, this is useful for like um, if you don't want to happen to keep your nuclear reacting running or keep your new nuclear reactor <clears throat> keep your nuclear reactor running and you want to send the power someplace you could uh, you could honestly just have these um, power unloaders have this hooked up to your nuclear reactor and have just a bunch of these hanging about and you can just have a bunch of batteries from your nuclear reactor same thing if you have a solar farm or anything like that um, or if you, you know, it doesn't really have a whole bunch of uses, I guess, if you're using it to power something or you're trying to get power to a place. Um, this would be helpful. Uh, if you have a new base or something, that's automatically what I would think, you know. It would be like, oh, I don't want to do it here, you know, I want to go build a new base, but, you know, I don't have any power on a, all that, you know. I don't have to restart power from zero. I could potentially have this track running to the new base, it would be a bad idea from here, you know, maybe teleport pipe to an MSFU to the train tracks and then to the new base. That will work. That would be okay. But, uh, yeah, not from up here. Uh, the amount of track I would have to use would be ridiculous just to get to the ground. Probably at least three or four stacks, I would say. Um, but yeah, um, that's it for this one, like I was saying, guys. Um, also, ahead of time, I'm sorry, I know I've been away for like two or two or three weeks, um, but I've been busy, so, but I'm back now, I have some free time. Um, also, I am going to have a schedule, um, starting as of now. We're going to try to put out, or I'm going to try to put out, um, Check It slash Minecraft out on Monday, Wednesday, um, God of War, and Friday for the weekend, Bioshock. Until those are done, then I'll plug in other things in those slots, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna have it like that for now. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out, uh, on Wednesday. Hopefully I'll get this upload, uh, uploaded tonight, which is Monday. Uh, same thing with Friday for Bioshock, if you're watching those. Um, but yeah, this has been the Not So Sad Panda, guys, and I'll catch y'all later. Also, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.